In this triad problem, we're told that the difference of two complementary angles is 20 degrees, and we're asked to find the measures of the angles. So with any geometric problem, the first thing I always do is draw the picture. So what I've done here is I've drawn two complementary angles. Uh, they form a 90 degree angle when they are together. So let A, what we're looking for is the measure of each angle, and we know that they're complementary. So let A equal the measure of the first angle, and let B equal the measure of the second angle. And as always, you can choose whatever uh, whatever variables you want to use for the measures of these angles. I'm just using A and B. That's what I put uh, in my diagram here. So we know that the angles are complementary. What does that mean? That means A plus B equals 90 degrees. And we also know the difference of the two complementary angles is 20 degrees. So we know that A minus B, or B minus A, since uh, where we assign them is, is arbitrary, is 20 degrees. So here's our system of equations. A plus B equals 90, and A minus B equals 20. So how are we going to solve the system of equations? Well, since B and negative B are already part of these equations, let's just add them. So A plus A is 2A. B plus negative B is 0, so these cancel out. And 90 plus 20 equals 110. Divide both sides by 2. And we get A equals 55 degrees. So the measure of the first angle is 55 degrees. So we substitute A equals 55. With our first equation, we have A plus B equals 90. So if A equals 55, 55 plus B equals 90. Subtract 55 from both sides. And we end up with B equals 35 degrees. Let's go ahead and use the other equation just to make sure that that it works. So A minus B equals 20. 55 minus B equals 20. Subtract 55 from both sides. We get negative B equals negative 35. And then divide both sides by negative 1, and we get B equals 35 degrees. So tentatively, and we haven't checked yet, so that's why I say tentatively, but the measure of the angles are what we solved for are 55 degrees and 35 degrees. So let's go ahead and check. We do that by making sure that both of our solutions make both of our equations true statements. So A plus B equals 90. So does 55 plus 35 equal 90? And yes, it does. 90 equals 90. 55 plus 35 is 90. Now, does A minus B equal 20? So does 55 minus 35 equal 20? And yes, 55 minus 35 does equal 20. So our solution checks in both equations, and we can say that the measures of the two complementary angles are 55 degrees and 35 degrees.